Thank you very much indeed. Our broadcast friends have just heard about half a million people here at the Sydney Maya Music Bowl. Well, we have the day, we certainly have the day, we have the programme, and we have the people of Victoria to enjoy this Moomba edition of Music for the People. I think we should all be very proud, ladies and gentlemen, of the fact that today's guest artists are Australians. Australians who have proved themselves in their musical capacities internationally, and in so doing have brought great credit to Australia. For instance, there must be a number of Laplanders, I would think, who don't know where Australia is on the map, but who certainly know that the Seekers come from Australia. As you know, many great things have relatively small beginnings. The Seekers made their way from Melbourne coffee lounges to a Royal Command performance. Music for the People was, in the beginning, a very modest affair. It was a series of Sunday afternoon concerts in the gardens on an improvised stage, but these concerts proved that we could present music that people wanted to hear. And they came and relaxed in an atmosphere of good music. To our friends listening through 3DB3LK and a network of Victorian radio stations, the scene here at the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl is quite fantastic. It is as though there were three football grand final crowds rolled into one. The seating here in the bowl is packed to capacity. On the lawns beyond, there's not a blade of grass to be seen. And if the Victorian Government and the Melbourne City Council want proof of the success of Music for the People, here it is today by your attendance. I uh, would like to say this, uh, Mr McComas, that as I've just very recently returned from abroad, I can appreciate very much the very full Australian content of your program today. And first and foremost, we have heard a very great Australian artist in the person of Miss Glenda Raymond. We've had listened to the orchestra, which is again, once more in its first class form. We are going, ladies and gentlemen, shortly to hear the band of the Royal Australian Navy. And I may may say this is the first time I've ever faced an audience conscious of the fact that at the back of me I have naval support. <laughs> well, and last but not least, we have heard the, we are going to hear uh, the Seekers. It, it was my pleasure to hear them in this music bowl at one of these concerts before they went abroad. Since then, they have proved themselves first-class ambassadors for Australia, and I know that you're going to great, give them a great welcome when their turn comes. And now, Mr McComas and Mr Crawford, on with the concert. Such is the wheel of fortune that in a few short years, an Australian group of three men and one charming young lady should have taken by storm the entertainment centres of the world. From coffee lounge appearances to royal command performances. From obscurity to fame. Equally loved by teenagers and by those over 90. Ladies and gentlemen, Music for the People very proudly presents the world-famous Seekers.
Magnificent experience. You know, I, I think they've been awfully generous. to you? Could I make a suggestion? They have one or two very fine long playing recordings. Ladies and gentlemen, I think our guests, the Seekers, have been extremely generous. Seven numbers in one bracket is pretty good. the Prime Minister would be if he could get a reception like this. Well, it does seem that they might have gone. But Thank you very much indeed for your wonderfully enthusiastic reception to them. It was a great experience and we acknowledge the courtesy of Channel 7 uh, for whom the Seekers came out to Australia in allowing us to have them here this afternoon and I know you've thoroughly enjoyed their wonderful performance. So thanks very much to the management of Channel 7. Before we leave you...